Okay, today I'm going to take you guys through some of the basic website creation uh, with Serif Web Plus X2. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start a new site. And once you do that, the fir very first thing you need to do is set up your page properties. Um, you always want to set your master page over here to none because I honestly don't know what that does, but if you turn it on none, then you can uh, edit everything. Now I normally put my web page width to 950. Um, that's the way it fits in most screens, which the resolution is normally 768 by um, or 1024 by 768 pixels. And the height, it actually, I'll probably put it in as uh, at 1150. And uh, for your home page, you always need to either have it named home.html or index. I just use index, it's default, so it helps. And uh, so now that we have that, um, I'm going to go to your background. You need to put the background in whatever color you want it to be. In this case, um, I'll probably just go with a black background. That's I like using black backgrounds. And uh, then you go into your search and you enter the description. That is going to be displayed when you, uh, when you somebody search for your website and I'll give you a little little idea of what that is uh, sorry about my internet here it's pretty slow it's like dial up well while that's loading you can also come down here to enter a list of words basically this helps the search engine uh, or whatever browser or whatever you use them to uh, find your website in this case, I'm just going to put in test site. I'm going to separate these words by a comma. Like that. Well, while that's loading, you can also come down here to enter a list of words. Basically, this helps the search engine uh, or whatever browser or whatever you use them to uh, find your website. In this case, I'm just going to put in test site. I'm going to separate these words by a comma. Like that. Okay, when you search for a website, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure you already know this, but for those of you who do not, that right there, what shows up there, the information about your website, should go up here in this top box. And in this case, I'm just going to type in this. something simple for the home page. You can also do this for each individual page of your website. I press OK. I'd like to use a snap grid because it helps you line up things better, but if you really want to fine tune it, then uh, you might want to take it off by going to view and taking off the dot grid. But I'm going to keep it on for now. Okay, the first thing you need to do for your website is come up with a template what you want your website to look like. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a banner up here. As you can see, I just went to the utility on the side, uh, the quick shape tool, and I selected a shape. And I, uh, expand that out, make the right size that I want. Now, what I'll do is I, I'll probably go to filter effects. As you can see, the, uh, the display of it on the right there and I'm gonna put in a color fill for the background and I'm thinking I might go with a red and uh, then I'll go and click on 3D effects to make it 3D I can adjust the blur and depth to as you can see how 3D you want it or what kind of shape you want in this case I don't want it super 3D and then I'll go out to the outer glow 
and create a yellow outer glow, which is kind of nice. You can see uh, on the side how it glows a little bit. And I'll just put that in like that. Now, if you come up here to the top, you have the HTML preview. If you click on that, it will preview your website on what you've got done this far. And as you can see, I need to lower that a little bit and shrink it a little bit as well. So, I'll just like that. We'll see if that's lined up or not. Good enough for me. Alright, now that we have the main banner, we can add some text to it. Now you can create a text box and create all sorts of text. Or you can, first I need to drag this over here so I can delete it. It's one of the annoying things that sometimes you have to drag it off the page in order to delete it. Not all the time though. I'm going to come over here to the artistic text tool. I'm going to click on the first one. And I'll drag it to the right size that I want. I'm going to create a yellow text. This one will be called... Gamer Cave, and I'll shrink it so it fits correctly. And I'm going to come up here to uh, the font and change the style of that text. I'm going to go with something like that. Make it circusy looking, if I print, even pronounce that word right. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, I was homeschooled. Now, one thing I like to do with the text. Well, first I'll just show you what this looks like. If you want to just keep it as a standard text, you know, that looks pretty cool. Or, you can drag this across. You can do things with it. First I'm going to ignore the spell check there. And I'm going to go back into filter effects. And you can create another 3D effect and adjust it. Or something you can do if you just want to do it really quickly is click on this instant 3D below the filter effects. As you can see, my computer's acting up. I didn't want to do that. Hold on. Yeah, my computer's being a little annoying today. That's okay. I'm going to straighten this up maybe put a little bit of an angle on it there and then I'm going to go into styles you can also create the type of 3d effect you want like this which is kinda cool I might reverse that what about this there we go adjusting some stuff here probably not the best 3d thing I've created but uh, it'll work for this now I'm gonna convert it to an image so it won't like hog up all my resources as I'm uh, creating it I'm gonna convert to picture I'm gonna keep it as a PNG so there now that I have that we'll preview it 